shall fall asleep someday. And from earth, from earth I pass away. This documentary is about Cincinnati's legendary black gospel from 1940s to 2011. This gospel documentary doesn't scratch the surface of the gospel we have here in Cincinnati. But please enjoy the representation that I have to offer. In this style of documentary, we try to get you close to full version of a song instead of sound bite that may tease you when you want more. Enjoy and love somebody. It could have been me In a Hello world, this is Mr. Keith Little Trying to bring the best of Cincinnati Gospel Past, present, and future Sitting and thinking as I often do I thought back of some of the great gospel artists That no one will ever hear again The late and forgotten artists in this documentary, you will find those that put Cincinnati on the map in the world of gospel, the Grammy and Stella Award winners, and the music. Some of the vintage footage has been collected from many sources. I want you to get to know the artists as I have over the years. Enjoy and love somebody. Cause it could have been me I really do Yes I do Cause it could have been me I got a I've had the pleasure of organizing, booking, and promoting Kulan Gospel Classic. Sponsored by the city of Cincinnati, spearheaded by council member Jim Torbell. This took place here in Cincinnati at the Cincy Blues Fest. We promoted it five years or better. Let's hear from council member Jim Torbell. I saw you in there grooving when, uh, when they were playing. You like gospel music? Oh yeah. Ever since I was a kid, I. I guess when I was about 10 years old, you know, I, I, just, I found CIN, and I just kind of by accident, just surfing on the radio, and, uh, and you know, while that wasn't part of my uh, church-going experience, it became a vicarious thrill for me listening to it on the radio, and I've been stuck ever since, you know, and uh, there's, you know, there are points on the way in my life, you know, where I've had the pleasure 
of gospel music. Uh, and uh, then when I saw Thomas Dorsey and Anna Smith and Say Amen Somebody, uh, which is the history of gospel, the, the movie about the history of gospel, uh, that was uh, that was a that was a, a very important moment. And uh, the funny, the funny thing is that the, with with politics, um, that's been a, a unique opportunity to get into churches. And you know, they think they're, that that I'm there going for votes, you know, and I'm there listening <laughs> to the music, you know. And so it's been a real uh, wonderful opportunity for me. When this happened. Um, Two years ago, and the one thing is, I've known since I was a child what a wonderful resource we have in Cincinnati, and how wonderful the gospel music program in Cincinnati is. But it's all, you know, kind of a secret. It's in the churches, and if you're not going to those churches, you don't know. And I've always felt, why am I so unique? There's tons of people out there that they knew about it would appreciate it. So let's get it out there. Here is the 20th Century Theater where we host the Kulan Music Master Summit and Flowers Award Ceremony. Of 13 years at this point, this is where we recognize all the artists, give them their flowers while they live, and in memory of, to let them know that Cincinnati does support our own. Jesus. A lot of the artists you see here are no longer with us, but they live on in our memory. But you know sometimes I sit and wonder Will I ever be what I want to be But I thank you You know I want to be like you in everything I say and I do, but I thank you, Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, the original legendary Golden Ass. Well, the group was started in 1971. It was started in my grandmother's house, and we have come just about all the Midwest. This is the Dynamic Golden Star. I think we formed this group back in 1967-68. On the top left starting is Larry Wiley, myself, Mr. Keith Little, Willie D. Collins, Ira Wood, Frank West, and then our two wonderful lead singers, Robert Jones and Minister Howard Riley. We did a lot of singing around there, some traveling. I think we cut our first 45 in 1969 at Finch Recording Studio. The name of the song was Yes I'm Going and the other side was Oh When I Come. Oh what a wonderful time. Notice you didn't hear any drum. A lot of groups didn't have drum back then. From that time earlier uh, it was just guitar and even before that and just a guitar no bass. They had bass singers. Everybody, hold on. Let's turn the bass on for me. But that's all right. I can You know the love. These 
go to singing master man. I think they're all gone, but one. It may be two left, but I'm thinking just one. Clarence Black. Uh, just to name them, there's uh, James, that's Jimmy Williams, Von Lee Campbell, Clarence Black, Jacob Lattimore, Pluto Petty, John Thrasher, the singing master man. They have been singing a long time. They have been singing even when I was a kid. Silvertone Gospel Singer. This is from the era of 1954, although they started in the 40s. I used to love to hear these guys every Sunday morning on the radio. The Silvertone Gospel Singers. This can never come. The Cincinnatians. They kind of remind me of my father's group, Mr. Clarence Little. He's the same with the Silver Wings. I was four or five years old back in 1957-58 when they used to practice in the living room. And I go in there, wrap around my father's leg, and hit that odd note every time. And they never threw me out. Build it big and strong, 300 cubits long, 30 high, 50 wide, do it to stand on the raging tide. Hello world, I hope you've enjoyed part one and part two of Up Above My Head, some of Cincinnati's finest talent. Get a chance to check out our blues and jazz documentary called Thanks for My Flowers from the 1920s to the 2000s. You can check it at coolline.org, www.culan.org. Thanks, love somebody, and be blessed.